Now, the shift to net zero is going to be a pretty dramatic shift, is it not? Is there a risk of disruption at a macro scale, not just to financial markets, but to the global economy with a, a big turn like that? Exactly. And that's why uh, I'm really uh, happy that you are bringing this point. So we at MIT at the joint program are currently exploring these financial risks. And so uh, while well, there are two sides of these risks, there are physical risks. So uh, what is going to happen uh, when we see more and more extreme events, uh, when we will see extreme temperature, fires, droughts, flooding, so uh, this needs to be taken into consideration and in how they might affect the financial stability. But on the other side, as you have correctly mentioned, there are transition risks. And so those are even more important because uh, we currently don't have a clear uh, understanding what exactly the pathway which the world is going to choose to get uh, to those targets. So just to give you one example, uh, the uh, International Energy Agency has done an assessment uh, where we are currently with all pledges uh, and where we need to be in 2030 in order to reach 1.5 degree. And there is the gap, there is so-called ambition gap of about 12 gigatons. So we are short of 12 gigatons of needed reduction currently. And that's comparing with the pledges. And uh, if you're going to take a look at the pledges and the actual policies which are on the book in countries, well, that's another gap of about uh, 2.6 gigatons. So we are nowhere near where we need to be uh, on the trajectory for 1.5. And that is going to bring uh, a, a lot of uh, uh, attention from the financial community to try to understand, well, what is for real? Uh, where we are going to get? If we are not going to reach 1.5, what is the probability? What are the actions from that? Or are we, uh, if we are going to reach that, at what date? And so uh, the way how we see that, uh, there is another danger uh, that if we are going to overshoot that 1.5 target, uh, we need to make sure that we can weigh that this is not uh, that we uh, are going to lose all the battles. Every emission counts, every right. emission reduction right. counts. And so we need to make sure that whatever uh, company are doing are still trying to push as aggressively as possible, even though currently we are far from reaching those targets. Mm -hmm.